Good afternoon. Welcome to Pouring Through Life. I'm just doing a coaster commission set. I wanted to, I wasn't going to tape this, but I did a couple of the coasters so far and I think they turned out gorgeous. I'm just going to swipe these under so you can see them. It's a color test I did, but I'm pretty happy with how they're turning out. They're pretty. So I figured I'd show them to you. I haven't posted any videos and I can't tell you how long. I've just kind of been in a rut. So this is the first set I've done in over a month. So this is Deco Art Pearl White. Um, Art Mine Silver. This is a gray schemed poster set. Mostly gray. Silver though. It's my version of gray. This is Matisse Payne's gray. It's more of like a navy blue but it has gray in it so it works. Matisse metallic silver. Gorgeous silver. Pevio Studios Iridescent Blue Black. Black Blue? I can't remember. I think it's Black Blue. I do another layer of the pearl just to lighten it up a tad. My uh, pillow that I use today is the Walmart Color Place White Semi Gloss. And the Soul Activator is Amsterdam Lamp Black with Aussie Flow Trial. It's more like a two to one ratio in this batch. Hang on a second before it ruins it. There is something right here. Dried paint. That didn't dig too far into the pillow. I'm gonna have to blow on this because I had to stop the hair dryer. It's not as organized as I'd like my lacing to be, but we'll see how it develops. Give it a spin. I had to practice a little bit, you guys. Okay, so I still got a little black right here. I'm gonna just blow on that. too hard got down into the pillow a little bit so we'll see if this is going to be scraped or saved okay let's spin this again i think it's fine it's a little mushy but it'll be all right i'm trying not to be as hard on myself as i normally am scraping off the drips here Okay, I'm gonna do one more. this right right this time right hopefully there won't be a chunk and chunk of dried paint in my cell activator My 
table is a little unlevel, so I have to rotate my spinner a little bit to keep the paint from rolling off the edge unevenly. even as far as how it pushed the cell activator out, which is what I prefer. I used to wait for it to develop before I spin, but actually it doesn't matter. What will develop will develop regardless if you spin it. It's thick in there. I'm just going to blow in the center a little bit. I don't like to blow on it once I've spun it because it can cause the cells or the lacing that develops to be kind of misshaped. And I don't really care for that personally. Nobody, have, anybody that looks at it, they don't really notice it, but I do. So for me, I don't like that at all. Last thing I need to do is go around and shake a little dab at the corners and make sure they're all covered with paint. Yeah, I think that'll do. One more spin just to make sure I got enough paint off. And I'll bring you in, I'll bring them out for you to see them all. Just give me one second here. So you can see the set. set here, so I can zoom this out, turned out really pretty. Let's hope my client likes them. The only one that's kind of weird is this one. I'm not sure I like that one, but I like them. They'll work. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I will list the colors of the paints in the description box. Um, if you're interested in any of the art that I share on the channel, I will also have my email address, Facebook page, and my KS Resin discount code. All right, you guys, thank you for watching, and we'll see you on the next video. Bye!